how do you calculate the derivative of a sum of two functions? Right, so let's, let's do an example. So uh, here's, here's a function f of x. Uh, f of x equals x squared plus x cubed. Right? And I want to differentiate that. So the derivative of f of x right, is the derivative. Well, f of x is x squared plus x cubed. Right? And provided x squared and x cubed are differentiable, the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. So this is the same as the derivative of x squared plus the derivative of x cubed, provided those derivatives exist. I mean, they do, right? I know how to differentiate x squared by the power rule. So this is 2x. And I know how to differentiate x cubed by using the, uh, the power rule. It's, uh, it's 3x squared. All right, so that's the derivative of the function f at the point x. Right? I calculated that by knowing that the derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives, provided the derivatives exist. Why? Right? What, is that, what does that mean? Let's, let's do a really concrete example just to sort of see how this really is reflecting uh, what the derivative is measuring. Right? So uh, let's plug in some numbers. Right? So what's, uh, what happens if I plug in 2 into the function f? Right? Well, I plug in 2, I get 2 squared plus 2 cubed. 2 squared is 4, 2 times 2, and 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 4 plus 8 is 12. So that's the function's value at the point 2. Uh, what's the derivative at 2? Well, the derivative of this function is 2x plus 3x squared. So I plug in 2 for x there. I get 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. This is 3 times 4. And that's 4 plus 3 times 4 is 12. That's 16. All right, so the derivative of this function at 2 is, is 16. Right. So what, what does that mean? Right? The, the derivative at the point 2 is reflecting how wiggling the input of 2 would affect the output. So what happens if I wiggle the input of 2 by a little bit? So if I calculate, say, f of 2.01, right? if I plug in 2.01 for, uh, for x, I get 2.01 squared plus 2.01 cubed, right? 2.01 squared is 4.0401. And 2.01 cubed is, uh, is 8.120601. I add those together, and I get 12.160701. Okay, so now take, take a look at what, what has happened, right? If I plug 2 into the function f, I get 12. If I plug 2.01 into the function f, I get 12.160701. The derivative of f at 2 is 16, right? And that's exactly reflected here, right? I wiggle the input up by a 0.01, and the output went up by about 16 times as much, right? I mean, the derivative is really measuring how infinitesimal change in the input is affecting the output infinitesimally. And this is not an infinitesimal change, right? So it's, it's not exact. but it's close, right? And so wiggling the input up by 0.01 wiggled the output up by 16 times as much. Right? I, I could do the same thing uh, for some other values. Uh, right? I could plug in could plug in something like uh, f of uh, 2.03, uh, right? And what do you think the uh, the output's going to be well. The the actual value right is uh, is going to be about 12, right? And then I I wiggle the input up by 0.03. The derivative of this function at 2 is 16. So I'd expect that the output would be changed by about 16 times as much as the input. And 16 times 0.03 is 0.48, right? And then this this isn't exact, right? The the actual value. You know, is, you know, is, isn't exactly uh, you know, affected by 16 times as much of the input. I mean, this is, this is what happens if I actually plug in 2.03 into the function. I get 12.486327. But, but it, it's pretty close, right? I changed the input by 0.03, and the output changed by about 16 times as much because the derivative of the function at 2 is, is 16. And 16 times 3 is, is 48. All right, so hopefully this gives you some idea of uh, you know, not just how to calculate the derivative of a sum, right, as, the, as the sum of the derivatives, provided the derivatives exist, but, but also it should tell you something about what the derivative means. Right? 
I mean, the derivative is measuring how change in the input changes the output. And if you add together two things, and then you see how those two things change, well, the, you know, the sum is going to change by about the sum of how those two things change. Right? And that's exactly what the derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. 